Replacing the content on one article, or even two articles on your Joomla website, is pretty simple. But what if you have to replace the plugin code on over a thousand articles in your Joomla site? How would you do it? <laughs> Let's find out. Hi, and welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. In this video, I'm going to show you how I replaced the plugin code in over a thousand Joomla articles with a simple component from Regular Labs called DB Replacer. Now, here's the scenario a client of mine had thousands of podcasts. And of course, we were using a particular plugin to play those podcasts. They wanted a different one. And literally, it was around 3,000 articles had this particular plugin code embedded in every article. So, yes, we could have done a massive find and replace using PHP My Admin, but we wanted to be a little safer than that. And so we used the phenomenal DB Replacer from Regular Labs. Let me show you how we did it. I'm on a test Joomla site. I use it as a distribution. And I've set up an article called Regular Labs DB Replacer Test. And in this article, I've used their old name, No Number. Several years ago now, Peter decided to rebrand the business into Regular Labs. But for some reason, I chose to use the word No Number. Well, of course, I need to replace that. Now, obviously, one instance of a change can be managed at the article level. But what happens, as I mentioned in my introduction, if you have thousands of instances of a particular piece of text or even plugin code in your articles or modules for that matter? Well, DB Replacer to the rescue, and it's really simple. This is what it looks like. You can choose any table out of your entire database, and the content tables are chosen by default. I can add additional where statements if I want, but honestly, the easiest thing to do is just search for no number or the exact code you want to replace. When I click Search, you'll see that it shows me what it was. And now I'm going to replace it with Regular Labs and click Search again. And now it's going to show me that it will replace no number with Regular Labs. Click Replace. Are you sure? Yes. Are you really sure? because this can potentially break your site. Typically, when you're doing it in the content area, it's probably safer than most. Click OK. And now when I head back out to my site and hit Refresh, there it is, all updated. I'm going to strongly encourage you to check out all of the documentation here at regularlabs.com at the link on the screen. All right, well, that's it. So obviously, this example, just one article, but literally, thousands and thousands of articles can be done using DB Replace. And of course, it's not just articles. It's any part of your Joomla database. I can't recommend this enough. And as I mentioned just a moment ago, make sure you read the documentation at regularlabs.com. Well, thanks for tuning in today. This is OS Tips from OS Training. I'm Rod Martin. Hey, please subscribe, even hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next episode.